video, I'm going to show you how to take a 4K movie that you've been working on and someone requests that you create a 1080p version of it. I'm going to show you how to do that using Share. In addition, I'm also going to show you how to select a range of a movie and export just that range. So you'll notice if we click on the project, come over to the right here and click on Modify, this shows us we've got a 4K video in UHD format, the 3840 by 2160, and we're rendering it as Apple ProRes 422. To share this in a 1080p format and also in H.264, we need to go to the Share menu, scroll down, and add a destination. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to the right here and we're going to double click on export file. Next we're going to click on the export file one name and I'm going to rename it to H.264 1920 by 1080 MOV. That tells me everything I need to know. Now, over on the right side here, I'm going to choose, instead of video and audio, I'm going to choose web hosting. I'm going to choose a better quality H.264, and I'm going to make sure that 1920 by 1080 is selected. So that's it. I'm going to drag this up to the top so that I can more easily get to it. So now let's take a, a look at using this. So I'm going to trim down the music for this video. And I'm going to come over to the share button, click on it, and I'm going to choose the new share that we created. Let's take a look and see what we've got. 1920 by 1080, 30p, quick time movie, and click on next. I'm going to save it here. Okay, so I also told you that I'd show you how to export a range of clips rather than the entire movie. So to do that, if I press the R on the keyboard, it'll give me this little film strip looking icon attached to the arrow and I'm going to start here I'm going to click and I'm going to drag over to here and that is going to tell the share to just select that range so now I'm going to type an A on the keyboard to get the arrow back I'm going to come back over to share I'm going to use our new 1920 by 1080 I'll click Next. Let's call this Demo Reel 1 Range. And there's the result. And as you can see, it did only the range that we selected. So there you go. This is Chris Anson. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you found it helpful. Mm -hmm.